results are in. I'm back on a lawn that you saw me heavily scarify not so long ago. Not only did I heavily scarify the lawn, overseeded the lawn, put some uh, scattering of organic compost on top. I'll spin this round for you. And yeah, I mean, it's never a done deal with lawns. It's continuous work in progress. Keep at it, keep an eye on it, keep going and you will get there. So, you know, really green, really healthy. But like I say, you know, you can't, you can't take your foot off the gas, not with lawns. Keep an eye on it, keep going. And on that front, everybody, it's Club Tropicana this week. So just keep at the forefront of your mind that grass is a plant. It does require a drink. Definitely not just a case of getting out there and doing your, your flowers or your fruit and your veg. Get the sprinkler, get the hose pipe out and just give the lawn a good drink, preferably in the evening when the sun's gone down, that, that, that would be better, but you know, depending on work and home life pressures, any time is better than no time. So just scarifying a customer's front lawn. You can see from the trees and the bushes, this lawn is extremely dry. So where you've got mature trees and bushes right on your lawn, they're obviously going to overpower the lawn, take all the energy from the lawn. But nonetheless, I'm following out my customer's instruction on getting this lawn scarified, which has just happened. There's the Billy Goat Scarifier over there, all this over here. This particular lawn would definitely benefit from a wetting agent. On that note, I'm gonna be getting as much information and literature, literature and the advantages of putting down a wetting agent on your lawn and what that does to my customer in the hopes that they'll allow me to get one down. But as with all my customers, there's a budget in mind and I've got to keep to that. So let's get this bagged up and move on. So in terms of the removal of organic material, matter that's suffocating your lawn, I mean, it's just, you know, a good four bags, you know, completely full of just brown. If it's brown on your lawn, quite frankly, it's no good. If it's lush and green, yeah, you're on to a winner. So, this particular lawn, you know, it is as solid and as dry as a desert. And that does concern me going forward in terms of what the customer is asking me to do. And the fact that I'm advising them quite rightly so with the mature trees and bushes you know we do need to give serious consideration here to getting down a wetting agent if we're going to really see any kind of significant improvement to this lawn so I'll have a chat with them and perhaps we'll be back on this lawn soon Good morning my lawn lovers on a customer's lawn for the second time this year first visit was to get down Sierrasol moss control treatment, a liquid application, penetrates the moss at root level, turning it black, certainly knocking it on its head. So I'm now here with my scarifying machine and we are gonna get this lawn heavily scarified. So I'll just spin this round for you. And we can certainly see areas of the moss that have been treated that have turned black, that's great. So my scarifying machine over there, so let's uh, crack on.
So this lawn has been heavily scarified twice. Everything raked up and bagged up. I've just given the lawn an absolute soaking as I'm now going to overseed the lawn and when I say heavily scarified not a huge lawn but nonetheless These bags literally just, you know, full to the brim, which is really, really good. Let me just look at it. Okay, so I've got uh, my spreader, grass spreader, and the seed I'm using is Pro Select Speed Germ Cold Start. So just an update on a lawn that you saw me heavily scarify and overseed, reseed. Uh, also scattering of organic compost. Yeah, it, it's, it's coming along really, really well. There are some areas that are still slightly underperforming. Uh, so I need to keep a close eye on those. In fact, I'll be coming back next week to essentially get some more seeds down. I can see that the seeds are there. They are they are germinating, they will germinate. But I know the customer's really pleased, so am I. I'll just show you the back lawn. So here's the rear lawn. Again, you know, it's coming on well, no question. Need to just try and really get this up to speed for my customer. Again, there's areas, you know, quite a few patches all over the lawn that I just need to get zoned in on and uh, get these up to speed. So we'll be back on this lawn in around two weeks. Now then my lawn lovers, press up there for last week's episodes, press up there for this week's episode, and yes, 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 that button in there. Press that button in there to subscribe to my channel.